Harper's Village tonight. Yeah, well, finally is a definitive word. You know, in all the years I've done this story, this is the first year that I literally could not find a spot. And we had to call mall management to uh, ask for a little help, which they gave us. And all things, though things are relatively quiet right now, the mall was packed this afternoon, more packed than usual, which had to be good news for retailers who were a little worried that maybe the warm weather and increased online shopping could take a bite out of mall business. But if today was any indication, that's not going to be a problem. Every year on this day after Thanksgiving, the malls are packed with people. It's a tradition. It's a tradition. We do it traditionally the day after Thanksgiving because they come in from Philadelphia and they're very happy to share in the Pittsburgh shopping tradition. We always come out the day after Thanksgiving to kick off just the holiday season and the holiday shopping. Big numbers don't always translate into big bucks for retailers, but Duquesne University's Dr. Audrey Gusky says if this isn't a strong holiday season, it will be a surprise to those who track shopping trends in this country. I think sales are going to be extremely strong. I'm predicting 7 to 8 percent increase, which is very significant. Last year there was about 4 to 5 percent increase, and that's the standard over the past, I would say, eight years. But this year, because of the economy is so extremely strong, the um, employment is also very powerful, and then we've got the millennium coming. I've been buying a lot of things, like more this year because of the millennium. So. Megan McGrail says it's something she wants to remember, but lots of other shoppers just want to be prepared. It has a hand crank on here. You turn it for 55 times and it would last for one hour of playing time. It also has solar uh, cells on the top. But whether they're shopping for safety or for the season, remember what you see today is just a taste of what's to come. Although we have a lot of people buying early, there's a lot of procrastinators that come the last two days before Christmas Eve. Yeah, and this is a time to remember that it's not just the shopping that counts, but it's those returns the day after Christmas. Um, one thing to remember in Pennsylvania, we have no law that says any store has to accept returns unless the product you bought was defective at the time of purchase. But they do have to post those return policies and adhere to them. So that means now is the time to look for them. Although the department stores have pretty liberal return policies, some of the small stores vary, and especially kiosks like the one we have back here, which bring about some great gift ideas. Be especially careful with those. For instance, that one has no returns. They do accept exchanges, but they're going to be leaving on December 31st, and then you'll have to go to Green Tree to make any exchanges. So that's one of the things that you want to check out now rather than later, because we work so hard to get ready for the holidays, we don't want to have problems after. Reporting live from South Hills Village, I'm Yvonne Zanis-Nobet.